Hi everyone. Now, as Sri Lanka Morning Show, we always try to introduce you some people who lives in Melbourne uh, with different talents and different skills. The idea behind this is to get them to share their views and their ideas to improve your skills and to encourage you to improve your kids' talents as well. Now, today we have invited Mr. Denver Pereira. Uh, one of the multi-skilling person who lives in Melbourne to share uh, his multi-talents with us. First of all, we would like to welcome Denver to Sri Lanka Morning Show program. Thank you, Tushara. It's my pleasure to be here, actually. Denver, first of all, I would like to know about your background because I know that you came from a different industry, but now you are a, a very good artist. How this happened? Uh, well, Tushara, actually, I started uh, with banking because my eldest brother was a banker and uh, my family always wanted me to be in the financial se sector, corporate, uh, and I followed suit. But, you know, deep within me, uh, there was this creativity that, that was lying and uh, I've always wanted to be someone, actually, make a name in that industry. So even while doing my banking, you know, I used to uh, draw people and whenever there's a bird they have staff they would come to me and uh, say look here look here draw me a special birthday card something funny about someone and that's how you know people came to know me and while working in the bank I used to also uh, work at the Daily Mirror one of the leading newspapers in Sri Lanka mm -hmm. I worked there as a uh, editorial cartoonist and uh, not only an, as an editorial cartoonist I also did uh, um, like uh, serious type of drawings like say when you have a story about uh, uh, it's not always funny you know when you have something serious I used to draw something for them as well uh, we, we had so many authors who used to uh, uh, have uh, draw write novels as well so I used to do book covers and uh, children's book covers and uh, you know you know my my creativity I extended it to many levels Denver yeah. tell us who is your target audience uh, do you have a specific category yes. uh, the kids or the adults yes my my target audience is kids yeah because I love working with children uh, because working with children helps you do many things it improves your talent as well because children are so full of creativity mm -hmm. they are so full of ideas and you know they could read a picture very well than adults I, there's a saying that uh, a picture speaks a thousand words that's right and kids I would say they grasp it faster than adults mm -hmm. I've seen that I've experienced that so then I thought okay this is my audience and I should bring something for the kids so having said that I created a website for myself so through that website I talk to kids I instill confidence in kids I get their talents out and I help them improve it. Yeah. Can we know more details about the website? Yes. So uh, the website is called Sketchroo. Sketchroo. Sketch is Roo. there a, a specific uh, mean idea behind it? Or? Yes. Yes. It's a, it's a, it's a, I would say it's a nice story. It did not come up uh, out of the blue. Uh, it was uh, meticulously planned, especially during the COVID mm -hmm. restrictions, during the COVID lockdown. I had almost, we had almost eight months working from home. That's right. So, uh, I decided to create this special character called Sketch Roo. Mm -hmm. Now the specialty about this character is, uh, before I explain about that character, you know that we as kids, we all have our own superheroes. Of course. We have Superman, we have Spider-Man, we have Wonder Woman, all sorts of characters that come mm -hmm. on the screen today. And like this, they have their own strengths and their weaknesses. So the, my superhero is Sketch Roo. But Sketch Roo is quite different to most of the superheroes. His uh, strength is the drawing capability he could draw people he could draw many things and bring them to life when i say bring into life it doesn't mean that you know whatever he draws comes out of the screen out of the pa pencil and paper and starts moving in front of you no it's it looks real. so lovely mm -hmm. uh, lively it looks so lively it looks so real that you know even kids love it so but the weakness like many superheroes this guy has a weakness the weakness is if he does not draw for a few days you know, he loses that touch, he loses that capability until he starts drawing again. So the message that I'm trying to give is, kids, you know, you're born with your talents. Sometimes you don't know any talent. It could be drawing, it could be singing, it could be 
many other things if you do not make use of it it would it would die with you mm. it would die with you so so what i'm the message i'm trying to give is use your talent especially drawing identify your own talent talent go to a person who would groom you and uh, you know i i would not say that you're going to be a picasso or a michelangelo or that's going to be your career but you can use your creativity for any any profession that you are in so the best way to start is drawing and also um we know that you wrote a book based on the same character oh it's an activity book right so uh, before i come to that i should explain my uh, you know what i'm offering to the community mm -hmm. um my work consists of uh, two main areas mm -hmm. that's uh, workshops in schools and ongoing art classes during weekends especially which i have extended to weekdays as well after school for kids for kids and uh, in schools for workshops i do provide an activity book free so this workshop is conducted mainly based on the activity book in that activity book i introduce this character how it came to be how it started so it runs uh, throughout six pages right in the form of a comic mm -hmm. right and based on that you would find the other activities uh, which i will run through with the kids during the workshop and then comes the ongoing art classes what i do in the art classes i help kids do the basic sketching from uh, drawing the anatomy to uh, people animals and f from there onwards doing portraits so as the as the class goes on you know we move on to more advanced methods and there are few kids who have been with me for more than 3 years working with me and they are really fantastic and i do hope to uh, to organize an exhibition you know feature in these kids so i would say all kids they are very talented talented most of the time when we when we are born you know the first thing that we tend to do as toddlers we 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 start scribbling mm. on the floor on the walls uh, you know or in all places that we could get our hands on what happens is uh, our parents they have their own reasons to do it but they most of the parents they restrict their kids they say don't don't do that you should not be doing that so kids you know they are they their hands are tied they can't explore that creativity all this scribbling all these things that are done that's the creativity that is coming out there is an that's the story. first thing that kids would do not before they could talk mm -hmm. so starting from that point most of the kids they their creativity is you know sus is is kind of uh, i would say it's been restricted and then as time goes by they tend to deviate from that creativity and they focus their attention on to other subjects that's right and uh, you know an artist that could be is never born that's right so my aim is to bring out that artist from every yes because uh, nowadays a lot of parents are very worried because the kids just you know they stay on the yeah. computer or the mobile phone exactly. so this is a good way for them to get rid of that exactly exactly that's the purpose actually most of the parents i have a few parents who are really concerned about uh, kids you know what they say is you know my my child is always on the f uh, on the phone he's on the tab uh, he, or he's watching tv so what they want is this they want this hands on experience that's right then if you don't mind can we see what is inside this sketchbook book yeah of course uh yeah so actually it like i said it's an activity book th that i use for workshops mm -hmm. so it's the, it has its own beautiful cover a very, very kind of um, colorful one but so it's based uh, the colors are based on the uh, the characters on the characters on the uh, logo on everything that theme colors that i use for right. my website as well so and this and also i had to mention that this website was done by a very talented uh, web designer called kevin de france right so uh, for future if anyone wants to know him uh, it's really good so um, so it was designed according to his specifications as well and uh, you get the uh, i have a beautiful front cover and then it starts with this little comic that i mentioned before um sketchroo introduces himself in the first page and then it goes on how he uses his talent to attract mm -hmm. kids and uh, not only kids he attracts also the adults as yes, well yes okay and uh, so this comic shows all that and it also shows how he he was bullied during his school days and how he used his his that um, his uh, talent Talents. to talent yes. to you know silence his critics yes and uh, 
And then he encourages, he, he, he addresses kids. He says, look here, you guys are like me. You can be like me uh, and uh, use your talents. Draw, don't, don't uh, just uh, let them lie aside because you're going to lose it. And then from there onwards, the activity starts. So this is what um, I intend to do with uh, the workshops. And also kids, they will get a free workbook. Now, all these characters you draw by yourself? Yes, of course. They were designed by me. The, even the website, if you, if you go through my website, you will see uh, many characters. Uh, you know, you get animations and then you get other graphics. Also. You can so draw any character? Uh, yes, I can draw any character. Right. Uh, can well, I, I would say challenge uh, you? Can you draw something straight, I mean, at this moment? Yeah, of course I can. I can. Say, uh, can you draw a Superman? Yeah, of course I can. <laughs> that, yeah. so this is going to be a quick sketch. So. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure because a lot of kids the Sri Lankan community are watching this program and this is going to be a live experience for the kids. Yeah. Wow. This is brilliant. <laughs> Beautiful, fantastic. Now Apart from kids, do you extend this service to adults as well? Yeah, of course, I do. I do actually. Mainly, I focus on um, care homes mm -hmm. because uh, we have so many adults who are confined to their care homes. Uh, mainly, adults with, uh, I would say, who are going through the trauma of dementia. Mm -hmm. So um, they they don't remember anything. But I I do work in care homes what i do is i have a special program for them i use uh, the therapy of art to uh, help those adults you know reignite their cognitive skills that were long gone mm. so what happens is that like you know you can't uh, you can't introduce any subject to uh, especially adults who are going through dementia but a picture would probably remind them of something. That's right. It would take them back to their uh, past and make bring a smile onto their faces. I do provide the service of uh, doing workshops during uh, kids' birthday parties as well and events. Right. And events. Uh, like say if you do have a family day out in or something like that, you know, it happens between communities, between uh, universities, mm -hmm. especially Sri Lankan universities in, based in Melbourne. Uh, I would be happy to go and do a workshop during those events as well. So and for yeah. kids' birthday parties, what kind of services that you provide? Well, uh, I would do. Uh, I would uh, oblige all kids. Say, if a kid wants uh, themselves drawn, right? I would give them a framed version of it. And also, if they want a famous ca character, their dream character, of an an say they watch so many animations, they want to and draw the face yeah, paintings, face paintings as well. So I do have a very young team uh -huh. working with me, a very talented team, mm -hmm. and I owe uh, whatever that I have come this far. I owe it to them as well because uh, they have been with me. They have always encouraged me, and uh, they have always uh, you know uh, like instilled confidence in me that I should go on with this. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm really good at. Yeah, and they are always there to support me. So they have been with me. Uh, up to now they are with me. With now, apart from that, yeah. uh, do you provide any other services like, you know, sometimes people want to draw their, you know, dream, uh, you know, the picture or a wall paint uh, in their dream house. So yeah. something like that. Yes. So do you still yeah, provide? Of course, yes, of course. Uh, you would find it on my website. You can you can log into my website and they, there's the custom art page. Uh -huh. And there are examples as well that I've done. So if, if someone wants to have their living room adorned by a fresh painting. That's right. I would do it for them. I would always uh, encourage them to have me visit their home, look at the theme, the color theme that they have in their home. So a uh, 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 painting should always match the furniture. After this program, I would be your first client to invite oh, yeah. you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll be happy to do that. Yeah. Uh, now, Denver, 
I'm pretty sure a lot of our viewers, especially the parents, now really want to contact you because they might want you know, to send their kids to your uh, arts classes or they may have different other reasons to contact you. If they really want to contact you, how they can contact you? Yeah, they can contact me by logging to the website uh, sketchroo.com.au or they can call me on 035999086. Uh, or 0481-520-770 and they can always book a workshop and also having said that I should also mention that we do uh, birthday parties as well we do workshops at birthday parties as well so that's another special feature right thank you so much for joining us and sharing a lot of valuable information especially for our kids and uh, we would love to have you once again in our Sri Lanka morning show and uh, thank you so much for joining Denver actually thank you for having me the pleasure was mine actually I enjoyed the program thank you very much to share